Hi, my name is Leanna Dippy with Campus Reform. Today we are at Turning Point USA's Young Women's Leadership Summit in Dallas, Texas. We're here to find out what kind of treatment do young conservative women receive on campus for being open about their views. Have you experienced any liberal bias as a conservative female on campus? Extremely. <laughs> Definitely a lot of bias. I think everyone does just in college. Absolutely. A lot of the things that my professors post on Facebook, my music professors and theater professors that I had at Towson, wished violence upon people who think like me, upon conservatives, upon people who like Candace Owens, Kaylee Nanny, Trump supporters, anybody. My artistic mentor, he said that he wanted more Trump supporters to be shot on his Facebook page. He said that he wanted more of them to be shot like the woman on January 6th. I also was in a sorority at CU Boulder and posted a Trump flag on my story and immediately got called into our disciplinary committee, was told that I was racist. They then went through my Twitter, found that I liked President Trump's tweets and retweeted them, continued to call me racist, and then further punished me, telling me I had to write a five-page essay on um, the book White Fragility, which teaches critical race theory, and I fought it for over a year, refusing to do it, so eventually ended up getting kicked out for it. I am, was in a sorority previously, and during the presidential election with me posting, I've had about five conversations with our nationals. They would personally call me and made me take down my post due to not appealing to social norms on campus, specifically in class. We had to take a women and gender studies class, and I was forced to write a paper that was for pro-choice and promoted Planned Parenthood. I had to write that paper to pass the class. Just throughout my college experience, I've been ridiculed and called every name in the book. Professors are constantly pushing liberal leftist ideas. Every single class I have had assignments where you get extra credit if you post a link that describes racism in America. Every discussion is about something racism or systemic racism and how our country is the worst and socialism is the option. And if you don't like subscribe to those ideas, you get a bad grade. When I would visit the TPUSA tents that they would have set up to give students information about the organization. There were students who would just walk by, they would tear down their signs, they would throw things at us, telling us that we're racist and um, you know all the phobics, all the isms, everything you can think of. My opera duet partner, we were best friends for five years. When he found out that I was thinking about voting for Donald Trump, he screamed at me on the phone that he couldn't be associated with me anymore. Um, because I was a racist, homophobic, neo-Nazi, and he just hung up the phone. And that was my duet partner for like five years. Do you feel comfortable talking to any of your professors about politics? Um, I'm usually wary at first. The school is quite liberal and I don't want to end up um, affecting my grade. No. No. I would never think of it. There's no point in talking to teachers about that kind of stuff. I started a summer class last week and Within the first five minutes of my teacher talking, she was talking about the white man and how she hates the white man, and she's a white woman. And in the background of her Zoom, she has the black power fist. Do you think that your campus is a safe place for you to express conservative values or beliefs? I don't think so at all. Not at all. No, uh, the school is incredibly liter uh, liberal. I wish my school prided itself in um, diversity of thought. A lot of conservatives are more soft-spoken and they don't want to speak out about things. Essentially, Boulder has become a liberal cult where no ideas that are different or opposing are allowed to be spoken at all or you're completely ostracized. My name is Addison Smith and I'm with Campus Reform. Thanks so much for watching and it really helps if you like and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe right here so you can stay up to date on all of our content. If you wanna help us to continue to make these videos, please donate to the link here. And lastly, if you wanna get hooked up with some of our swag, click here.